Good after morning, everyone. How has the new year treated you guys? I'm curious. Did you... Did you have breakfast? Did you jump off a cliff? Or did you fall into the dungeon? I'm curious. Uh, so, a lot's happened. And in the past few days that... Um, I did record Sky Ranch. Let's go over what happened. So, for starters, in, a in the last one, I got into Tetra a little bit. And quickly realized that I need to advance in Tetra quite a bit. But I'm not sure how, so I'm taking a little bit of a break from it. And hopefully I'll figure it out later. If not, I'll just look up a tutorial. Oh, I installed Mechanism. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, if you guys don't know what mechanism is, it's similar to uh, thermal expansion, but instead of you just being able to double your ore output, mechanism allows you to 5x your ore output. But it also gives you quite a bit of uh, interesting uh, things to do. Like it's not simple, oh, build one machine and then go on to the next and to the ne next and to the next. No, no, no. Uh, Mechanism has a interesting progression with uh, how it goes about. Like, the machines cannot function without specific uh, gases. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, th I think hydrogen chloride is tier 4 and oxygen is required for tier 3, for example. And sulfuric acid is required for tier 2. No, oh, five. Yeah, sulfuric acid is required for tier five. But in order to get into any of that, I have to scale up the tech tree like anything else. Yeah, I remember mechanisms supporting more oh, up to like five different kinds of uh, energy systems. But I don't remember what the other two were. Like Minecraft Jewels was the oldest one. Then we got Forge Energy, which is the new guy. And EU, which is industrial craft. Oh, also, uh, this is like the bare minimum you would need in order to make a uh, mech suit, which I do have queued up, but it's gonna take a really long time in order to get to there. Like a really, really long freaking time. So, do I have a plan for this episode? Well, let's find out. Maybe an atomic disassembler would be cool. Okay, so you and you. Have fun. So long. Farewell. Uh, but what's interesting though is that uh, in between 1.12 and... Uh, sixteen is that the actual use or like the cost has gone up a little bit for the basic control circuits. It's actually two redstone instead of one redstone that was like that was always like one redstone no matter what but it makes me wonder though how oh wait in order to tear up with these i need to make these which is oh what <laughs> oh boy Four. Wait a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? <laughs> four. Four of find obsidian dust into one for one for one of these ultimate alloys or atomic alloys. Yikes. Ooh. Now that's a yikes for me, bro. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, man, that just blew my mind. So, I'm really glad I went and uh, just went head first into making the Richmond Chamber. Because with this thing, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, mainly, Lee is getting... Hang on. No... 
But yeah, the original chamber is really nice because it actually allows you to make the enriched versions of all your stuff, which is eight times more efficient than, let's say, putting like a piece of redstone in here or a diamond or refined obsidian dust. Hey. Hmm. That's an interesting issue. Oh, good. Good. A uh, good. Good. Oh. Right. Cool. Neo. Cool. Wait, that reminds me. Uh, how much obsidian do I have? Exactly one stack? What the heck are the odds? I'm wondering, can you... Can you eat obsidian? Probably not. It's pretty dense, actually. I actually held some um, in uh, science, in uh, environmental science class once. Seriously, that stuff will surprise me. Surprisingly dense. One atomic alloy? Check. Uh huh. And now for this. Oh! Sounded like a frog running out there. Hmm. Boom. Which means I don't really need you guys. But I'll keep you over here. Just like how I have a partially used up pickaxe. Just lying in there. Alright. Sick! Ooh, it's... Actually, I like this a lot better. Because beforehand, it used to be like... Uh, like, up to here, you would see the shaft, which, not gonna lie, I like the shaft. Oh, they outright shortened it. Nice. Let's go test this thing out, because I'm curious. I am a curious. Uh, actually. Oh, bye. It's as beautiful as the day that I lost you. I love pain. Existence is pain. Cool. Aw. Free boots. There's so much power in this thing. Granted, it's expensive as heck. But it's worth it. This thing is just so worth it. Wait, just out of curiosity, what can we use to make this? Ah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, HDPE sheets, which is this. Which is substrates, oxygen, and liquid ethylene. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Also, I kind of can't get over the fact that this thing is just so short. I love it. It's beautiful. Like beforehand, it kind of felt like a uh, like a ruler of some sorts. Now it's like like look at my tiny staff. Look at it. look at the staff. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> Like a scepter or something. I don't know. Yeah, goodness. Mm -hmm. This is still technically considered digging straight down, so don't do it. D also, that's not that far from my death point. Also, Enderman! Get over here. I completely forgot how strong this thing actually is. It's amazing. Ooh. <laughs> okay, uh. Yeah. So we got the atomic disassembler. That's, that's the achievement. Okay, um. Wait, what? There's different modes. Oh, no. 
There's a wheel. Oh, that is a beautiful wheel. Oh. Wait, you could turn this thing off? What? Okay. Not sure why you would do that, but that's cool. Wow, that's, uh, I like it on fast, actually, because it actually does a little bit more damage on fast mode. I'm a human candle. I will light your way. Existence is pain. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, I still can't get over the fact that this, this thing is just so short. I love it. I just love this short thing. It's amazing. I will name it uh, Peggy or something. I don't know. If you guys come up with a cool nickname, I will literally rename this thing to whatever you guys uh, want me to name it. But anyways, guys, I think that's a pretty good episode. We got Atomic Disassembler and we got 38 Obsidian. Woohoo! All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Take care. And hopefully this year will be eight times better than last year. Bye-bye!